this is Sylvia and I'm going to be reviewing some math books here. I have the Abeka Arithmetic 1 and Arithmetic 2. They are almost um, fully completed because my kids have been using them and we really love them but I'll talk about them some more. Also um, Math Lessons for a Living Education which is by Master Books. Um, the reason why I have the level 2 here, um, they have selling on their website level one for first grade and level two for second grade. However, from a lot of reviews and looking through the books, they actually developmentally and um, difficulty, level one is more of a kindergarten level and level two is more of a first grade level. And I'll show you how they compare. So first of all, here is the Abeka first grade math. Now we, I, I do tear out the pages for my kids so they can just work on one page. So they're a little beat, beat up. But um, we have loved, loved this math, although it is quite difficult in comparison to the Math Lessons for a Living Education. Um, I mean, look what he is going to be. This is, uh, let's see, Lesson 122 goes up to Lesson 170. Um, you know, write the odd numbers out, write the missing numbers. So what plus 6 is 11? 10, you know, 10 plus what is 11? What plus 3 is 11? Um, it's a very thorough, thorough math. It has lots of money addition. Um, he's actually subtracting two digits and adding two digits. Um, just a lot of, a lot of addition, subtraction, lots of review, lots of work. But it's working well. He's doing great with his math facts. He's, he's come a long way in this book. So here's the two, edition, uh, two digit edition. So the beginning was quite simple and it's gotten more and more difficult. And he's going to keep working on, you know, they have times, um, write the numbers before and after by twos, you know, write the sums. So it's, I mean, yeah, it's nice and colorful, you know, like I said, money, time, everything. So that is first grade. So it's, I mean, it's pretty, I feel like it's, it's pretty in depth for first grade. Now I'll show you the math lessons for living edu education, living education level two. Um, I feel like it is much more simple. We didn't end up going with this math because I felt it was, it was very simple and didn't have as much, as much review. Um, they start out with stories at the beginning of each lesson. They have a lot of copy work in this book too, I noticed, but they start out with a story. Oh, and they're, their times. It's much more simple. Whereas in the other one, you know, he's not just learning about 10 o'clock or seven o'clock. He's learning about, you know, he was doing 725 or 715. So they, they go through, so this, you know, it's their level two, which is supposed to be either first or second grade, depending, but their, you know, their math is pretty simple. I'll go to the end of the book though. So he does start, you know, he would have to start doing double digit addition, but really, I mean, look, it's one page of addition compared to, you know, there, there, what is this? Six problems compared to over here. There's, a, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot more problems in here that they'd, they go through. So it's a much more gentle program. Um, and it does explain things really well to the kids. And there's a lot of different stories in here. Um, yeah, so they do have money in here too. It's just much more gentle and I think it's a lot easier overall from what I can tell in here. And it doesn't seem to have, I mean, there's some addition, but I don't feel like there's a lot of addition compared to the Abeka math. Now I'll show you the second grade math of Abeka because it is much more difficult than the math lessons for living education. And again, my daughter is almost done with it. She is up to lesson 150. So she's already doing multiplications, divisions. She is doing um, borrowing and carrying that she learned this year as well. Um, again, it's it's got a lot of pictures. They try to make it colorful. Um, but it's definitely, I mean, look at how much she does. She does front and back. You know, so in one day, this would be what she'd be doing. So it's a lot of a lot of practice but I feel like she's gotten very strong at math because of this book she's doing really well with math so they try to make it fun they add some fun things like this is you know coloring depending on what the answer is but I'm just amazed for second grade that she is doing 
you know, I didn't realize she was going to be doing so much as far as division and um, addition, or multiplication, I should say, as well as the borrowing and carrying with the subtracting and addition. So yeah, like 18 divided by 3. I mean, she knows all these. It's amazing for second grade. So that's why we chose this one. I just felt like she was going to be challenged quite a bit more compared to this one where, you know, she's like Lukey's doing this in first grade, you know. So this is definitely, to me, I feel like this is more of a, a Becca first grade book. This is the same level as a Becca first grade. It's not comparable to the Becca second grade arithmetic. So we are going to go through, um, next year we're going to do arithmetic three for my daughter just because she has loved this math book and has, she's excelled in it so well. So anyways, hopefully that is helpful to somebody. Have a great day.